This is your prime time forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, East Alabama Waste, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Fincher Fence, Estate Masters, Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College and the venue at Five Points Farms, here's Dr. Don. Good morning to you, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Saturday. It's time now for your primetime forecast for November 2nd, 2024 on Dr. Don's Weather. It is All Souls Day. Honor and remember your departed loved ones on All Souls Day. It's also National Deviled Egg Day. Whip up your favorite deviled egg recipe and enjoy a delicious picnic with family and friends. And don't forget, when you go to bed tonight, set those clocks back one hour. We fall back. It's the fall season. We fall back at 2 a.m. Sunday morning. So when you get up on Sunday, you'll be on time. We gain one hour of sleep tonight. Thank you to Joey Knight of Salem Auction House down in Salem, Alabama. Auction every Friday night. They're located at 50 Lee County Road 175 in Salem, Alabama. They have food trucks down there, so you can go and enjoy food and a great auction at the auction, uh, the Salem Auction House. Give Joey a call at 706-315-7266 if you'd like to find out more information about the Salem Auction House. Also, get your ducks in a row with Ducas. All of your insurance needs can be handled by Jamie Ducas with Alpha Insurance across Alabama and Georgia at 256-831-7770. So no severe weather today, no rain. As a matter of fact, uh, we're probably going to be looking at mostly clear skies as we get into your afternoon. We do have a dense fog advisory that expires at 8 a.m. this morning, clearing as we get into your Saturday afternoon. And we may be looking at some rain chances, comparatively speaking, some meaningful rain chances, though we're not looking at a gully washer or anything like that. But by the time we get to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, we could be looking at some 30 to 40 percent chances of rain. We'll discuss that more coming up in your six-day forecast. Something else we're going to be keeping an eye on, too, as we get into next week. We have disorganized showers and thunderstorms over the southwestern Caribbean Sea. They're associated with a broad area of pressure. Gradual development of this system is expected and a tropical depression is likely to form within the next few days while the system moves generally to the north-northwest over the central and western Caribbean Sea. Um, we're talking about a 80% chance of development over the next seven days. Now, the big question here is, where does it go? Uh, some of the long-range models are bringing it up to the northwest Florida coast, uh, maybe Alabama, Florida, Georgia. Uh, but it looks like that that trough that will be coming in on Wednesday and Thursday of next week will pick this up and shove it off to the northeast fairly rapidly question is how strong does it grow before it gets close to the northwest Gulf of Mexico um, and that's a big question mark right now and it would be foolish to try to even guess at what we're going to be looking at just understand if you have any interest across the northern Gulf of Mexico all the way back over to Florida you need to pay attention to this system over the next several days now the yellow hatched area which is down around Jamaica I'm sorry, Puerto Rico, uh, that is probably going to get absorbed into our system in the Caribbean. So we don't have to worry about having two down there. We think it's going to become one as it moves on off to the north. Let's take a look now at your current conditions at the venue at Five Points Farms. 
in Chambers County, Alabama. At this hour, we've got 62 degrees, wind gusting to 4 miles per hour out of the southeast. Humidity at 93%. The barometric pressure, 30.18. Dew point is 60. No rain in the past 24 hours that could be measured, though we did have a few sprinkles here and there. High temperature on your Friday was 73.6. We do have some scattered fog out there this morning. Sunrise was at 7.01, and the sun sets this evening at 5 51 p.m. Again, don't forget to set your clocks back one hour when you go to bed tonight. All right, so uh, today we're looking at becoming mostly sunny by this afternoon. 77 in Roanoke, 78 in Carrollton, 80 over in LaGrange. And for tailgating in Auburn this afternoon, we top out at 80 degrees. Should be a nice day down on the plains. Six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Early morning fog, otherwise mostly sunny today. 77 your high, down to 60 for your overnight low. For tomorrow, mostly sunny 73 monday will be partly sunny 73 and as we get into next week tuesday we start to cloud up 76 we will stay dry during the day we'll introduce a 20 percent chance of rain tuesday night down to 63 on wednesday a 40 percent chance of showers 77 we'll maintain that 40 percent chance of rain wednesday night and we'll give you a 30 percent chance of showers perhaps thunder on thursday 77 will be your high temperature. Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar this morning showing no precipitation across East Alabama or West Georgia, uh, though we do have a few showers down there across uh, extreme southwestern uh, Alabama, just north of Mobile, uh, back over to the I-20 corridor near Tuscaloosa, and those showers are moving off to the northeast. As we take you in close across East Alabama and West Georgia, you will see that there is no precipitation across the area this morning. Be sure you support Dr. Don's weather every chance you get. And there are multiple ways for you to do that. Uh, one of the great things you can do is go to the top of the video on Facebook, bottom of the video on YouTube, and you'll find a link that will carry you over to our weather store. There you can pick up a Dr. Don coffee cup, a t-shirt, baseball cap. Part of the proceeds come back to support us here on Dr. Don's weather. You can also go to our website at drdonwx.com. You can hit us up on PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Facebook Stars. All of those links are at the top of the video. And be sure you do all the social media things. That's free. Doesn't cost you a dime. Over on YouTube, Facebook, X, and Discord, you want to like us, follow us, share us. You want to comment on our video post. All of this keeps us in front of you on your feed be sure you subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube and click that notification bell so you'll get notified when we go live to cover severe weather. And whatever you do, make sure you join our Discord community. The link is at the top of the video. And when we go live to cover severe weather, we give you a few extra perks over there on our Discord community. Hope that you guys have a fantastic Saturday. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, we shall do this again first thing tomorrow morning, right here on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Fincher Fence, Estate Masters, Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, East Alabama Waste, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime